How did the topic of this panel get set? Um, I have absolutely no idea about that at all. Uh, uh, but one thing is for sure that when you when you take any topic which which is is contentious, what you really make sure is that you have a moderator who's much more like Genghis Khan than like Mother Teresa. That that really helps a lot. But I think what the panel, uh, more than anything else, revealed was that it was a microcosm of Israeli politics. I think what you saw happen on the panel was really just an example of uh, of what trying to uh, to achieve any kind of consensus on Israel, both in Israel and out with, within the Jewish community and without. I think it was, it was to be expected. How did Ziad wind up on this panel? Um, you know, I'm not the organizer here. I'm, I was just invited to, to come. My main speech is tomorrow afternoon. This was, the, I, just, I just agreed to do this as a sort of bonus. But um, Did it seem to you that he was, he was uh, blaming Israel for the problems of the Arab-Israeli conflict? Um, I, I didn't. I didn't really hear a coherent viewpoint uh, from him, so I, I couldn't really. Uh, I couldn't really say what what he said. It was not clear to me. Okay. But but the crowd behind him seems to be pretty anti-Israel to begin with. I don't know if you did. You pick that up? No, nope, I can't say it again from the stage. It it, it seemed to be a very small, uh, tiny handful of uh, isolated individuals that uh, were enthusiastic. So no, I didn't. I didn't see any great. But judging from the the crowd around him, behind him now, behind you, oh. you can look over there. It, what's your sense of that he's got so much support here? I, again, there's, there's three or four thousand people here. I wouldn't really call that so much support. I, I really wouldn't. The, to the, the vast majority of people, frankly, were just not that interested in this topic. It was it was a relatively small number of people uh, to whom the topic appealed. But I think it would be a mistake to draw any broad conclusions from this. But in your estimation, would you say that the Arab-Israeli conflict is, is in some way a, a, a function of Israel's intransigence? No, of course not. I mean, uh, and, and George Gilder wrote an entire book on that subject. So, uh, no, I, I don't think that, uh, that that was an issue at all. Is there anything that Israel could do unilaterally that would uh, resolve the Palestinian, uh, or, or, shall we say, the Muslim-Jewish conflict? I'm flattered by the, the question, but uh, I, I think it would be reckless and frivolous of me to answer that. I have no idea. Uh, um, wh so what was it like sitting up there and, and, and watching this, uh, th essentially, uh, you may say that, that the, the libertarian leader, did he discriminate against Ziad unfairly? No, I, I don't think so. Although in the early phases, it did seem as if uh, he was not really giving him a chance to speak. So, uh, so he, uh, he, uh, I think, understandably exploded. But uh, did you get the sense that he was anti-religious in the way that he was relating to you? Uh, you know, I, um, I have a thick skin, and so I can't say I, I felt that or noticed that. I, um, I, I've been around and and taken unpopular positions for many years, and I'm, I'm not worried. But I, I enjoy it. To, to strangers who would say, "Well, if he's Jewish and you're Jewish, that you guys should should see eye to eye." But it's, it's not Jewish. He's Christian. Oh, he's Christian. Yeah, yeah. He's not Jewish. He's a Lebanese Christian, I believe. No, no, not, not Ziad. No, no. The uh, the panel uh, moderator. Oh, I see. Um, you know, uh, Judaism being Jewish doesn't signify in any way whatsoever any ideolo ideological agreement. Um, as a matter of fact, if you gathered four million Jews into a huge stadium, um, can you think of a single? question on which they would all agree other than Hitler was a bad man? I don't think so. And so when you speak to an uh, evangelical Christian, his religion dictates uh, his view on many, many topics and his views would be predictable in many areas once he tells you. But if somebody says I'm Jewish, he could be an atheist, he could be a Hasidic Jew, he could be a venerable sage, he could be an anti-Semite like Karl Marx was. So, uh, you know, the fact that uh, the moderator was Jewish or I'm Jewish, it doesn't mean anything at all. There's In no fact, there's no reason for us to suppose there would be agreement. Did it seem to you that, that he was uh, 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 rejection, rejectionist of, uh, of religiosity? Um, well, that's the position of many secular Jews, and I understand it. It's, it's defensive, and uh, particularly if he had a, uh, an Orthodox grandfather or something like that. Yeah, I, I, you know, that's, that's fine. I don't mind that.